Damien Tiernan, uh, GP and GP trainer at Sligo, uh, MediCentre Sligo. I'm here for the last uh, 20 years, uh, graduate of the Sligo GP training scheme and like a lot of the trainees uh, stayed on in Sligo and uh, went straight from uh, GP training to GP trainer um, and I've been in the same practice for the last 20 years so I haven't known anything else except MediCentre Sligo which is great. We moved in in 2002 to this purpose-built primary care centre. It was uh, an amalgamation of three large group practices in town moving into one primary care setting. Uh, it's a shamrock-shaped building and there are three separate units in the building run by three group practices. So in the past we would have shared an out-of-hours rota uh, together and uh, but then when CareDoc came on board for out-of-hours uh, they took over that. So we're three separate entities within the one building and then downstairs in our building we have public health nurses and uh, we have physiotherapy across the hall from us. So it's a, it's a lovely setting to be in and uh, it's a nice facility for the patients at Sligo because it's a one-stop shop for them and we have ample parking and it's easy to get to and uh, it's a lovely modern building so we're very lucky. Well, here in MediCentre, uh, I mean, I came off, I suppose I'm testament to the success of it, really. I came off the GP uh, scheme straight into a job here and became a trainer. Uh, here in MediCentre, we have a trainee most of the time on fallow at the moment, and we have a mixture of third and fourth year trainees uh, who get a wide range of experiences from uh, babies to elderly patients. Uh, we look after uh, Sligo IT, so we have a cohort of six, seven thousand students uh, looking for GP services. Uh, so there's no shortage of work or experience for a, a trainee coming. Uh, we do everything from childhood immunizations to travel vaccines to joint injections to occupational medicine to medical legal uh, across the whole gamut of, of general practice. Um, and so they get a bit of everything when they're here with us. Um, we see ourselves as a, as a well-run practice. We'd like to think we're well-run, so they get some business experience as well here, what it's like to be an employer. Um, and they also, while they're here with us, we have undergraduates as well. So we would have students from UCD and NUIG who would pass through as undergraduates. So the GP trainee would get to see an undergraduate and teach them as well. And by teaching, they learn as well. And, and they help me learn when I teach them. So it's a win-win for us all. Um, you know, a lot of my trainees who pass through this practice have stayed around the area, um, whether it's Bundoran, Ballyshannon or Boyle or maybe even one of our trainees has stayed on here as a doctor. So um, they get the experience of Sligo University Hospital and when they're on the GP scheme in Sligo, it's a four year scheme. So they come to Sligo, they spend two years in hospital medicine and two years then in GP practices around the Sligo area from Leitrim to Donegal to Sligo Town. So it's a one stop shop. They know where they're going to be for four years, which is great security at that stage in your life. Uh, and, and knowing that there are jobs available in the area if you want to stay around. Uh, there's lots of work available for GPs. Uh, there aren't enough hours in the day for us, so um, there's no shortage of work for GPs and uh, they like to stay around then after the scheme. So. I suppose my situation is unusual enough in that I actually live away from the practice. I lived in Sligo uh, for two years after I joined the practice here, but for family reasons I moved uh, back actually to Athlone, to the Midlands. So we took a, a brave step of us moving house, moving back to Athlone, and now I commute every day for the last 18 years. Um, and there's that facility here within the practice for us to do that. And one of my other partners lives 45 minutes away uh, and she commutes to work. And uh, now we do each, we both do a day at home uh, post COVID uh, working from home, which is a mixture of planned uh, follow up telephone consultations, uh, some administrative work, and I even do some uh, tutorials from home uh, when I'm working from home. So it's great. We have a very good work life balance. We have busy days when we're here. We have the same work ethos within the practice. When you're here, you work hard. When you're not here, you're not contacted and you're on your off time. Uh, and uh, my other partners are in the same position and the five doctors within the practice all work four days a week. So we all have the same uh, responsibility and the same, we have the same work ethos, which is very important. We, 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 we like to be off when we're off and we're happy to work hard when we're here. Uh, and it works really well for me and, and I think for my partners and the other doctors within the practice. And when the registrar comes, they fall in as part of that. They do the same as we do. They work as hard as we do. Uh, they have the option of working from home if it's feasible for them. Um, and if not, they're here on site uh, seeing patients. So it's, it's a nice balance, yeah. I wanted to be my own boss and, and I am my own boss. I'm in a partnership with two other partners and uh, 
We, 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 we could work all hours, uh, we choose not to. We could work five days a week, we choose to work four days a week. We choose to work hard while we're here and have long days, but we choose to have our time off and enjoy that time off as well. Uh, so that, that flexibility of being self-employed is uh, one of the big attractions for me for general practice, one of the reasons that I've stayed and one of the reasons I love it. Um, that and the variety. Um, every day is different. Uh, we have patients from six week checkups uh, right up to our eldest patient is 100 and came in for his COVID vaccine there recently and, and back for follow up. So it's great to see that kind of broad um, range of patients and and I know my patients well. Um, I would I would have families of you know grandchildren, grannies and granddads coming in, parents, aunts, uncles. Uh, you know I would know the families well and even though I live away um, I would feel that you know I'm their GP and they come to me and I, I know a lot about them uh, from social to, to, to medical uh, and that helps a lot. It's, it's much easier to look after people like that and uh, I suppose the attraction of general practice is being able to help people. That's probably the other reason I went into general practice. It was the being able to help people from explaining blood results to helping them through bereavement, helping them through a diagnosis, reassuring them that it's just a chest infection, reassuring them that it's just muscular pain, that it will go away, um, but helping them in, in whatever way you can help them. And, uh, and that's great because um, I find that, uh, as I was kind of reflecting back on it, you know, he helping people gives you so much back. It's like giving a present to somebody at Christmas. Watching them open the present is the joy that you get. And, and I get that every day here in general practice.